Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Esmeralda and today I'm going to do a video on older palettes that are still on my wish list. This video is inspired by Andrea Marquillano's video. She did do this video. She had, I think, 10 older eyeshadow palettes in her wish list. I do have a lot more than her. I do have 14, but it's not all my fault. It's because... I'm usually inspired by older palettes and people don't really talk about older releases they only talk about like the newer things and then I'm like the last one to get the palette on the planet earth but it's okay it's okay because that's life but I am gonna get into the eyeshadow palettes that are still on my wish list that are older releases so the first two eyeshadow palettes are like super 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 old they came out about five years ago, I want to say, are the Natasha Denona 28 Pan Eyeshadow Palettes. I found out about these palettes two years ago, and I just felt like they were so curated. Like, they had every color, because they have two. They have the brown and green one, and then the purple and blue one. And I just felt like if you have these two palettes, you can curate, like, probably every blue, purple, and green look on like earth because they're just so beautiful and they swatch really great but there was a lot of mixed reviews on those eyeshadow palettes because they are super duper expensive as well they're like 240 bucks basically and it's just super expensive for an eyeshadow palette i know that but i think i might get them on black friday because last year well whenever black friday was the recent black friday they were buy one get one free so basically you're getting it half off which is a little bit better it is going to still be super expensive it's going to be like 120 dollars but it's better than paying 240 dollars for an eyeshadow palette so yeah those are the two then the third palette is also from Natasha Denona it's the star palette I just felt like that palette is so me it's just like neutral but it also has like pops of colors and it's just such a gorgeous eyeshadow palette that like I need it in my life and the same thing um these are palettes that I would never buy full price because they are just so pricey and I just don't see like myself spending over a hundred dollars on an eyeshadow palette it's just a little too much kind of too crazy um like I'm not you know releasing money as I talk but I think they are really gorgeous palettes the other palette that is still on my wishes is also from Natasha Denona. I think she just makes beautiful palettes. It's the Lila or Lila palette, whatever you want to say. I just think it's such a gorgeous purple palette. It's like, I don't like beginner friendly in a sense because it's purple, but it's not like purples that you can't use. Like, you can probably use that palette even to go to work because it's not like, oh my god, purple in your face. It's kind of like purple, but it's kind of like plum and like muted. I don't want to say muted because it kind of sounds bad but it's just like a classy purple in a sense not that like bright purple is not classy but like you can wear it to work and people will look at you like girl girl what you doing we're in the office setting but yeah like I just feel like it's just perfect the last well the, not the last one because I have a lot but the next palette is also from Natasha Nona that is the last one but this one, I would never buy, like, it would have to be a really, really, really good sale for me to get this palette. And the reason is because it's been so controversial. I think this has been, like, the worst release Natasha Denona has ever released is the Tropic palette. It's just, everybody that has it just trashes it. And I get it because if something is $129, like... It better blend and be amazing on my eyelids like but people have gotten hard pan and like not been able to pick up the product and just like it's not cool you know it's like if I'm paying $129 it better not be lacking it better not but anyways yeah I feel like that palette I would definitely not even get it like if it was half off because I feel like even 60 bucks for a palette that has horrible reviews is still a lot like it would have to be 
like 40 bucks which i know it would never be like 40 bucks but you know i can hope and dream if it goes to 40 dollars, i'm gonna be the first one over here fighting to get that palette but anyways yeah i i would be the first one the next two palettes are from a indie brand in the uk it's certified i bought their affinity 2 palette like when it launched and i love that palette it's such a good palette the blues are really good blues like i don't struggle with that palette and i like blue is not my color like i do love blue eyeshadow i think it looks so good but like when i put it on myself i don't always like the way i look in blue if that makes sense. like yeah but i do love the color blue and i do love that palette so 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 much but other two palettes i do want from them is the original affinity palette i think it's just so pretty it's like the it's like the perfect palette it's just reds oranges purples it's just perfect and then the other palette is the tropical wonders i just feel like it's such a perfect rainbow palette i i don't know i just really really love rainbow palettes like every single time i see a rainbow palette i'm like oh that looks good like i need that which a lot of the palettes on my list are rainbow palettes so yeah then i have two palettes from shroud cosmetics i do have their other palette but the other two that i don't have are the creepy cute and the arcana palette the creepy cute has been on my list for probably a year now and i just never pick it up and i don't know why i don't have any pastels in my eyeshadow palette collection so like i should be getting that palette like i should buy that palette like right now but i want to get both of the palettes together like i want to own the arcana i want to own all of the eyeshadow palettes from them because the arcana is just like mystical dreams like when i look at it i just like it's just mystical like it's i don't know like i don't know how to describe it it's just like magic it just looks so freaking beautiful and i need that palette like if i'm gonna get creepy cute i need to get arcana like i need to get both of them and that's like 80 bucks right there for two palettes and that's a lot but if i'm gonna get one i need the other. like i can't just purchase one of them and not get the other one when i want both of them like desperately so that's my issue and then another palette that i do have is the sugar pill the fun size mini color palette i have when i when that palette first released i was like i don't need that palette because i have singles from sugar pill and they're all like colorful because they only release like colorful singles and i was like you know what i don't need that palette and i was like i just ignored that palette and then i was seeing everybody review it and use it and i'm like why didn't i get that palette and that palette is like always sold out like i was gonna per i was gonna purchase it because why not and then i went and it sold out literally everywhere it sold out on beauty bay it sold out at ulta and it sold out on the sugar pill website so i'm just like you see like when i want to get things you guys are not available for me like <laughs> bye then the next palette is from nabla and i recently just bought from nabla like I just tried Nabla out like last month um, and I love them like I love the eyeshadow their latex matte formula it's so nice it blends so nicely on your eyelids like I don't know it's just like it's so smooth to blend out I don't know how to describe it it's like literally magic I don't know but one palette that I don't have and that I do want a lot is the cutie palette in coral i just think that one looks so good and it's not expensive either it's only 24 bucks and i think it's so pretty but it's something that I like if i purchase that palette i don't know like i feel like i do have some other colors to that in my collection but i still want to get it because i think it's really pretty i'm still gonna get it i'm gonna get it someday i'm kind of waiting for my ulta points to like reach like a maximum so i can just get the palette for free with my points the next palette is actually from an australian brand i just found out about i didn't know about this brand at all um but it's the brand glaminatrix and their eyeshadow palette i'm really interested in is the sandra rose palette i think that palette is so pretty like that palette i needed in my life i think it's so beautiful like the colors in there the shimmers in there just everything in that palette just looks so good and i need it but it's sold out right now that was one of the palettes like um i really wanted and i went to check on it and it was just like sold out but 
they did recently have like a restock of that palette and it just recently sold out so I was literally late by like a month but I will get it one day so not worry like watch next eyeshadow palette collection video whatever I do that palette well matter of fact all of these palettes will be in my collection like that's my, that's my goal then this palette there was so much controversy like controversial situation i don't know just so much around this eyeshadow palette i didn't know this eyeshadow palette existed because i just recently found amy loves makeups youtube channel i guess i know you can all hate me for that but i just recently found her and i am subscribed now and i am literally following her on everywhere brand amy hearts beauty and it's a beautiful palette like i need that palette like i think i'm gonna have to just like buy a magnetic palette and like dupe that palette with single eyeshadows because that palette is beautiful and i don't have it and i like there's no possible way i can get it so i'm just like i don't know what to do like maybe i should just dupe it out myself but yes i am upset about that i can't get it but I'm so like happy for her that she actually got an eyeshadow palette release even though there was some stuff going around which I still don't really know what happened because it's like nowhere to be found on neither of their pages, the brand and Amy, the YouTuber. So I really don't know what happened but that's not the I do really like that palette and I would purchase that palette if it was available today. The last the last palette is from Menagerie Cosmetics, the Pastel Puff palette. I literally have every single eyeshadow palette from Menagerie. Literally from like Dragon Child, when they were called Makeup Monsters, I have every single eyeshadow palette. I am missing Pastel Puff. And when I went to go buy it, it was sold out. And then when I went again to check if they had like a pre-order, it was sold out again. And I'm just like life is just not made for me right now i've just been missing everything I, I don't know but it's not limited edition so i can still get it and i wanted to get the three like trifoils that they have which is a new formula and they were all sold out too except the one that was in the eyeshadow palette and i was like if i'm gonna get the eyeshadow palette why would i get this single that is in the eyeshadow palette it's just no like i'm not gonna do that to myself but i do want to mention two palettes that are not in here because i am buying them the first one is the mita's mita mita's cosmetics oh my god and smoky girl palette mita's cosmetics is a dominican owned brand and i am dominican and i'm just like like i didn't know there was a dominican brand out here i mean i i wasn't trying to search but i found them and i know who smoky girl is and I like, I love Smokey Girl's channel. I feel like she's just like so fun to watch. Like even if the video was like nothing, I, I wouldn't watch her. And I just think the palette looks bomb. So I am purchasing it. It's restocking April 20th and I am buying it. And then an eyeshadow palette that I did want, but my boyfriend just per like recently bought me it, like literally yesterday is the Huda Beauty Re Mercury Retrograde palette. I really wanted that palette forever and it was on sale and I got it and I'm waiting for it. I mean, it might take like a month to get to me, honestly, because, you know, this virus. But it's okay because when I get it, I am going to use it and I'm going to love this palette. And I am also getting the Smoky Glow palette because I, I need that palette. I like saw it and I was like, yeah, I need it. So I am going to get that palette. But yeah, that's 14 pounds that are still on my wish list. Oh, and the certified palettes are sold out. So like, even if I wanted them, because I did actually want to buy something from them since they're indie brand and the times we're in, we should be supporting indie brands and they, they were both sold out. That room, oh, oh Lord. We have security cameras in the house and it resets every night at 12, 12 a.m. That's why it does it, because it does it. Like every day at 12 a.m. it erases the video from last year on this day, which is super annoying. I mean, I'm used to it now, but if I'm recording, it is annoying. But 
I'm not recording. I don't I don't know what happened because I'm sleeping at this time and it doesn't matter to me. But you know, since you know we don't have nothing else to do, then record. I recorded and yeah. Thank you guys for watching my video. Goodbye. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You know, you can like or dislike this video. I, I, as long as you watch the video, I don't care. You can dislike it or like it. And you know, you can subscribe too. If you like me, I like you, so you should like me.